Hello, boys! Pokemon Legends Arceus has released, and it is the talk of the town. From new gameplay mechanics, huge new environments, and new Pokemon forms, this game is insanely enjoyable. But, can you beat Legends Arceus with only shiny Pokemon? Obviously, yes. But it's a matter of when, not if. In this game, shiny odds are 1 out of 4096, which gives us roughly a 0.02% chance of finding a shiny Pokemon. However, this game is unlike any Pokemon title we have ever played, and the amount of encounters that you can get in one instance can be upwards of 10, if not more. Shiny hunting has never felt more fun. So that means you're here for one of three reasons. You want to see how long it took, you want to know how many encounters we went through, or you just want to see the best shiny reactions on YouTube. Well, don't worry, they're all there. All I ask you is if you haven't yet, scroll down and give the subscribe button a little spanking for me. So here's how I enacted God's plan, but with my own little twist. Started off like any normal Pokemon game. Oh! He's come to judge my porn tabs! Arceus, no! Oh, and yeah, I'm wearing a maid costume here. Just ignore it. We wake up on Prelude Beach with three little fellas staring us down. Professor Lavington then forces us into child labor, not even 10 minutes into the game. Now at this point, I know what you're thinking. Either, oh, is he gonna shiny on the starter? Or, uh, does he know? And the answer to that is yes. Yes to both of them. You see, starters are shiny locked. However, we will be shiny hunting little Rowlet much, much later. So after rounding the bunch up, we're quickly recruited to the Survey Corps. You see, we had two missions. One, do whatever main quest silliness they wanted. And two, find our shiny. So by going in and out of Jubilee Village from the Obsidian Fieldlands, we were able to force what's called a mass outbreak. Essentially, it spawns more Pokemon and gives us 26 shiny rolls, giving us a shiny chance of roughly one out of 158. All we had to do was pick a target. And thinking back to our shiny only pearl run, we do owe purple little something. Listen, listen, you better get Chad here. You better get Chad. So in honor, here is our first target and our first team member. Oh, that's it! Wait, we found it! Shiny Paneri! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! Yes! And yes, of course, we named him Chad. We still had one other target in this area. Quick off topic question, but have you guys ever read that one Vaporeon copy pasta? You know that one about how they're surprisingly built for set. Oh, we did it! Oh my god, the shiny Eevee! <laughs> oh, oh, chat, it did work. Oh my god, it worked! Let's go! That's why you saved, boys! That's why you fucking saved! So with our little Eevee named Soup and our big boy named Chad, it was time to quell the first Lord's hunger. I don't need to use Pokemon for boss fights. Yeah, I... I kind of just fisted Cleaver. However, the fun doesn't stop there as we are now tasked to do the same in the Colbutt Myerlands. Main story made us calm down the big old bear and then it was time to shiny hunt one of our own. This time, Full odds. We had a set spawn of a bunch of Teddy Ursas and one big daddy Alpha Ursa egg. So the plan was simple. Go to the camp, check all the spawns, return to camp, then return to Jubilife, then go back to camp. You rinse and repeat this a bunch of times until three on Twitch. Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, a shiny! Oh. <laughs> yeah, we were rocking hard with this team. Having three out of six Pokemon and just hitting the 10 hour mark, I was really feeling good about this run. Finishing up the story content and once again establishing my utter and brilliant dominance over the Lord Pokemon in this area. Now it was time for our next target. And boy, oh boy, was this one annoying. You see, we were hunting for Hiswi and Growlithe. 
Now, for those of you who don't know, Growlithe has a 19% spawn rate in the coastlands, specifically on the Veilstone Cape, which is where we're hunting it. So, to make this easier on us, we plan on getting an outbreak. However, just getting this outbreak took us roughly five hours to finally get going. Until this happened. Oh! What? Is that a be- What? <laughs> Is that a beautify? Bro! Look at her! Look at her! Oh my god, she's a cute- She's so cute. She's a queen. Alright, let's fuck her up, chat. What am I hitting her with? Well, that was unexpected. But don't worry, we're still hunting for the Growlithe. And at the 15 hour mark, and roughly 276 encounters later, our little fella showed up. Oh my god. Ah! Let's go! With that done, all we have to do now is go calm down the- <gasps> Who is she, bro? Does she have fan art? I'm sorry, can I call you mommy? Bro! Arcanine with our bare hands and then moved on to the next area as well as our next major hunt Oh, oh! that's a full odds. Holy shit fucking parasect No, uh, no, 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 no. I said next major hunt. Oh What the fuck I heard a shiny Wait, where the fuck is it? Oh, oh shit, an alpha! <laughs> oh my god, chat! Oh, I didn't mean to throw that! Watch and learn, boys. Uh. Uh. I said next major hunt! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> With this slew of insanity going on, we decided to progress to the last major area by absolutely destroying the bitch-made electrode with our bare fists. From here on out, we had two targets left. First up, Rufflet. This hunt was by far the longest, checking every single Rufflet spawn Checking all the outbreaks over and over again, rinse and repeat for what felt like forever. Until finally, at the 25 hour mark, an 800 rufflet seen. Oh! Finally! Holy shit! Our sixth teammate and final shiny was Hisui and Zorua. And before we knew it, we had an outbreak ready. All we had to do was dome some of their behinds and go through these outbreaks. Until finally, after blowing the back out of 276 Zoruas at hour 27, we officially finished our team. <laughs> the first one! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, boys! We challenged the Avalog to fisticuffs, which, of course, I win. 100% win rate with fists, by the way. But was this the end? We returned back to Jubilee with our shiny gang, reported to Kamada, and took a well-deserved break with some potato mochi. At least that's what I thought. They kicked me out?! Apparently I was spending too much time shiny hunting and not enough time doing their bidding?! After being ejected because I was a little too sussy for them, we had one final job clear our name, and stop whatever's happening at the Spear Pillar. Bolo comes oddly enough to help us out, and after picking Adaman as our partner, and swooning over Kokido- oh! Bro! She's my favorite character. Yeah! Hey, standing ovation! Yeah! It was time to finish this. We moved our way up, but were interrupted by Benny, who quickly revealed to be a ninja. After crushing his hopes and dreams and skipping all of his dialogue, we rushed straight to Kamado, who instantly challenged us to a fight. But what a pitiful mistake that was. 
What if? What if? Oh! Oh! Live it, Victor! Let's go, Victor! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, shit. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Okay, good talk. But before I could really teach this old prick a lesson, Dialgo rammed his body through a small hole in the ecosystem and screamed at us for a solid three seconds. <laughs> until I threw a Pokeball. Yes! And with the God of Time on our side, it seemed we still had an issue. We ditched the Spear Pillar and recollected our thoughts. Until we made the decision to show this Palkia what a true gamer looked like. Oh, and yes, I beat the Palkia with my fucking fists. Eat my ass, Palkia! Whoa! Bro, what the fuck? Dude, this game's sick as fuck! And our journey comes to a close. You can beat Legends Arceus with only shiny Pokemon. Who would have thought? It took us roughly 27 hours of shiny hunting and only 1,902 encounters. But this, this felt almost too easy. And from what I've been hearing, the post game's a little insane. So how about one final hunt? You remember how I said starters were shiny locked earlier? Well, once you hit post game, distortion spaces now spawn starters. Rowlet, Dartrix, and Hisui and Decidueye are all able to spawn. However, you only get three static spawns per distortion space, which are also shared with Shieldon and Kranidos' evolution line. Oh, and my favorite part of the hunt, of course. You can't really force distortion spaces or even soft reset them in fact you literally can't do a thing you see distortion spaces are checked every five minutes and they have as low as a 20 percent spawn rate so you literally just have to sit there and wait until it spawns so that's what we did. However, it wasn't as simple or even remotely quick as I thought it would be initially. Distortion after distortion. Rowlet checks after checks. Time kept going. But it felt like our chances never got better. Before we knew it, 80 more hours have passed. From 27 hours, 33 minutes and 11 seconds, to, to now, well over 100 hours. It felt hopeless. In fact, we even decided to start recording off stream. That way we could still make progress even when I wasn't live. But it wasn't enough. Hope was quickly fading. A Pokemon Present aired. They showed off every new update to current Pokemon games and even showed us Gen 9. But most importantly, they showed us the Daybreak update. It was a free update to Pokemon Legends Arceus that increased the amount of mass outbreaks in the game and had an entire new quest surrounding them. However, that isn't exactly why we're talking about it. You see, the update brought Pokemon into areas they normally wouldn't have spawned. It gave the starters mass outbreaks. We finally had a new way to hunt. And after 112 hours, 15 minutes, and 57 seconds, we had officially acquired our last shiny Pokemon.
Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Chat! At 112 hours, 15 minutes, and 57 seconds. We have finally achieved our final fucking goal. Shiny Rowlet line has officially been caught. We climbed our way up the spear pillar and faced the post-game boss with our head held high. We started off the fight with Fast Spear to his Spirit Tomb. Using Play Rough, it one-shotted. Next was Lucario. One headlong rush later, he's dead. Next, Roserade. We swapped into Houdini who used Brave Bird and got the one-hit KO. He then sends out Togekiss. Air Slash one-hit kills. Now we send out Joe. Two rock slides later, this Togekiss was donezoed. Next up, his Garchomp. And we know just the Pokemon to deal with him. We send out our Soup, who Ice Beams him into Oblivion. Lastly, he makes the mistake of sending out Arcanine. And one Aqua Tail later, the first fight was finished. He beckon and begs for Giratina to show itself, and it works. Now it's our shiny, fat nuts versus Pokemon's very own Satan. Fast Bear starts barely living the first hit. We were able to get a play rough that lowered his offense, but sadly, Giratina's strong style one shot at our beloved Fast Bear. Now it was Soup's turn. Our plan was to use Shadow Ball as much as possible so we could lower his stats further. Arceus was on our side and we got the crit on the first hit and killed it on the next. But it wasn't over. Origin form. Soup survived a Shadow Force and got one more Shadow Ball out until his demise. Next, it was Chad's turn. We double hit to improve our next move and then instantly swung with strong style play rough. But Garatina was obscured and we missed! He instant counters with his own agile style Aura Sphere into a normal Aura Sphere, killing our Chad without a chance to move. This was our last chance. We sent out Finkter. Agile style Shadow Claw gave us another turn. With him barely sitting at half health, we betted everything on this last hit. Finkter used strong style Shadow Claw, and thankfully, it was more than enough. I loved that. That was hard. I don't know if it was hard or if I'm just stupid, but it, it was one of the two. A little bit of both. And with that, not only can you beat Pokemon Legends Arceus with only shiny Pokemon, but you can also beat its post game. But don't worry, we're not done there. I still gotta catch Arceus. <laughs>